Now to Clay County. In the past 30 minutes, we learned new information about a deadly crash in Fleming Island this morning. State troopers say the driver of a semi has been arrested after causing a crash that killed 50-year-old Maria Ocasio. Sky 4 flew over the scene on U.S. 17, just south of the Doctors Inlet Bridge. The Highway Patrol says the semi-driver, 68-year-old Johnny Grata, changed lanes and hit Ocasio's car. She lost control and, as you can see in this video, crashed into that walkway that is part of the Black Creek Trail system. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway is joining us live from Fleming Island. Zach, you just got a copy of the crash report. What is the truck driver charged with? Tom, he's charged with leaving the scene of a fatal crash. Now, a deputy witnessed this crash happen. He stopped to help the female driver out, but then he got back in his cruiser and chased after the truck driver that never stopped. Highway 17 is busy. This morning was no different when a car and tractor trailer collided just south of the Doctors Inlet Bridge, killing a 50-year-old woman. You know, uh, driving a, a large commercial motor vehicle, and depending on the type of impact, um, there, there is that possibility that the driver didn't even know that the, the two vehicles had touched or collided. Um, you know, a very large vehicle uh, versus a small vehicle, sometimes it's very hard to determine. Hours after this morning's fatal crash, the Black Creek Trail Bridge remains closed. The tracks from where that woman exited Highway 17 remain visible, and her car still at the scene. The posted speed limit in the area is 50 miles per hour. We do not know if speed was a factor in this crash, but... I think they go too fast. Kathy Bell lives in Fleming Island and says speeding in general is a problem on Highway 17. Especially in the mornings when they're commuting and trying to get to work, that's exactly what they do. Yep. Do you think they should reduce the speed from 50 miles per hour? I sure do. I sure do. I think it should be 40. 40, between red light and red light. Kathy is not the only Clay County resident concerned with speeding cars. Well, yeah, a lot of people do speed around here. I mean, this side of Fleming Island is horrible when it comes to speeding. Do a lot of accidents happen on this straightaway? All the time. I reached out to FHP for stats on crashes in this area. I have yet to hear back. Now you are looking at a live picture of the walking bridge. As you can see, it is now open. You can see some bicyclists heading that direction. It is in the jurisdiction of the county. I spoke to county officials earlier and they tell me that it was damaged. A pillar was slightly dislodged, but crews repaired that. And like I said, tonight, it is reopened. We're live in Fleming Island. I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, the local station.